Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited to be here with you today because this afternoon you and I are going to do something new and that is that I bought a lamination brow kit, a pro series brow kit. This is from Ariana New York. It's a brow lift kit and pro series which means that it comes in individual packets so a Brow Pro can actually easily do the three-step process. Let me show you the reviews on Amazon and they are pretty wonderful. And as you can see, it got 1,700 plus reviews with about four stars, which is very good. Let me show you a representative review. Elizabeth says, amazing product. And she shows there the before and after. And oh my land, I would love to have that after. She says, I'm an experienced microblade artist and brow lamination artist. This product is amazing. I have very sensitive skin and I had zero reaction to it. All of my clients have had no redness or reaction either. It's very easy to use and I love that it's vegan and cruelty free. If you're in the market for a brow lamination kit, this is the one. Adorable end results last a month or more. So happy I bought this product. And the reason I wanted to do this is basically you have seen me on my channel and my brows are always wonky. Basically a brow lamination kit is actually kind of a perm for the brows. Supposedly it brushes them up into place, makes them look bushier and more like Instagram brows. This is the picture they showed from the website, which is crazy good. It is basically brows that become Instagram ready after using the lamination kit. And I do not expect that kind of result on my brows because they're usually about like this. I mean, they're pretty terrible. They are thin. However, they've gotten thicker over time and real quick, I want to show you a few things that help my lashes be better and I really do have good lashes and basically the lashes are due to the Revital Lash Advanced Lash Growth Serum which I really do like this. I've used it for about two years and I'm linking all of these products below. They're Amazon products. Um, these are not reasonable in price but they do work. And then I've been using a brow serum and I love this one. And I used it for a year and my brows got bushy. In fact, I went into a brow provider and she said, how can you be in your 60s with such bushy brows? But this is expensive. It's like $100 for a six month supply. So I switched to something that had worked earlier in my channel, which is the Rapid Brow. That's it, Rapid Brow. In fact, unfortunately, they were on sale and I bought them two ahead. They're in my vegetable keeper in my refrigerator. I did find that after switching to the Rapid Brow for about six months, my tails were non-existent again. And so now I've bit the bullet and I won't switch from this. This is the Revita Brow Advanced and it is helping my tails get better. And I have no makeup on my brows at all. I've just used makeup remover wipes to get all of that makeup off. Okay, I can't wait to show you every step of the way how this application works and we'll see if we can go from pretty bad normal brows to more Instagram-like brows. I don't have any great, I don't have any great belief that this will happen. We will see. But before we get into that, I did want to show you my very casual outfit today and all of my jewelry. All of it is from Amazon. I really do like this little hoodie shirt. It is very comfortable just to wear around the house and I like the flashy colors. And if you're not yet a subscriber to the 50 Plus Beauty family, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And when you click that little bell, that just sends you email notifications of my future videos. Okay, let's get down into this. Okay, I have cleaned off my brows and they say that's very important to do. I used makeup wipes to clean off the brows. Then you have this little brow lamination kit and let me show you what it says here. It says first apply step one, which is a lift cream that will soften your eyebrow hairs and change the elasticity. Step two is the next step and you do the first one for eight minutes. The second is a fix cream, which helps hold your eyebrows in place for the next six to eight weeks. And step three is nutrition, which hydrates and boosts your eyebrow hair. And basically that step three is just a little conditioner, but this is the kit as you get it in the mail. It costs $29.99 and there are five complete kits in here. So that means it's about $6 per kit. I did have my brows laminated once at a local brow salon. I really liked the results, but it was $80 and with the tip it was $100. And so when I saw that I could use this little kit and maybe do it for $6 a time, I thought, well, I'll give this a try. And again, this is from Amazon and details about how to use it and whatever are, are linked below. So take a look at it if you're interested. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. First, we use step one here, which says the lift kit. And this contains five individual sachets. They're just little sachets in like foil. And here they are. See, there are five of them. And so that is five complete kits. And I'll just take out one of them. 
and you are supposed to use Vaseline around your eyebrows to keep the color off your skin. But unfortunately, I don't know if I went crazy and threw the Vaseline away, but I looked all through my makeup cabinet, my medicine chest in the bathroom, and there was no Vaseline. I had some mentholatum, and I thought maybe I could use that, but I don't know. It smells like maybe it would irritate my skin. I don't know. Okay, the first is the Lift Cream. In addition to the three steps of the creams, they give you a little box called Lamination Tools, and I'm going to try to keep it neatly together because I want to keep this. Because if this works, I can get four more uses out of this kit as long as I keep it nice. Oh gosh. Okay, finally, I got it open. Okay, in the application tools kit, they have one, two, three, four, five. Oh, they've got several different brushes here to apply the product. And these are mascara ones, which I guess are to brush your brows in place to groom them. So let's go ahead and, oh, no, that. sorry, that's probably not too sanitary. Okay, I've also linked a little video down below which tells you exactly how to do this. It's just like a minute long. It's really, really short. This is pretty easy to do. I would have done it in the bathroom, but I had to stand there and I wasn't sure I could have access to a close-up mirror, which I have a close-up mirror right here, which will be helpful. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get the directions here. And it says, one, remove makeup and oil from your eyebrows using any makeup remover or wipe, which I did. Apply Vaseline around the eyebrows, and I explained I don't have that, so I'll just be very careful. Basically, it says try to avoid contact of the lotions with your skin, so I'll try to do that. Two, comb through the eyebrows using a disposable mascara wand, and again, they give those to you. So I'm going to comb through, try to comb them up, get them used to being more Instagrammy. They're definitely not Instagrammy. They're more like old Kansas farm wife brows, I think, but anyway looks looks better that way then it says step one is to use the first packet which is called lift cream there it is lift I've already cut off the top there and so I'll just put a little oh oh god it just fell fell down oh well it got it got saved by my makeup remover wipes so then I'm just going to apply this this lift gel to my eyebrow feels like I didn't get enough and there's enough in the number one packet for both brows apparently Ah, oh, look at that. Oh my God, that is ugly. Okay, I'll try to, okay, a little more together. That's good. Looks like I have a big hole in my brow on the underneath, which I do. See right there, there's a hole. I didn't see that until I did this. This is supposed to soften them. Lift and soften them. Let me see if there's any more. Okay, yay, I can throw that away. Now the next thing to do is to take some saran wrap. And I had some, I was glad about that. And you just kind of pull it off like this. And then you're going to leave your brows in the up position like this. And just leave them there for eight minutes. So I'm going to start my cell phone timer and I'll be back in eight minutes. Okay, I should have let you see it come to the eight, but I didn't catch it in time. It's either six or eight, depending upon the coarseness of your brows. And my brows are pretty thick and pretty coarse, so I need to do eight on them, I would say. And I'm going to go ahead and clean off the saran wrap because I will be using it again in just a few minutes on the next step, and it's just easier than getting a new one to clean up the one I have. It's not like it's so much money, but anyway, gosh, my brows look really scary weird. It's kind of like this is a good Halloween video. Okay, now it says to remove step one, so I'll go ahead just easily and gently and use my makeup remover to remove step one. Now it says to go ahead and apply step two, and that is called fix. And I'll go ahead and take one of the fixes out. And then I'll go ahead and open my number two. I've got some little scissors here to do that with. And this is the perm solution. So again, I'm going to make sure that solution number one is kind of wiped off. And then I'm going to apply the perm solution. I should have used the little brush before but I'll go ahead and do that on the perm solution. I'm going to apply, actually, I think I like the mascara one better. This is such a tiny brush. I don't think it's really doing anything. I think I will go ahead and use a mascara wand. This is the perm solution, and it's just a little white cream. Put that on. I'm a little bit scared because my skin is getting red, and that's probably because I did not listen 
and find the Vaseline. I suspect I threw it out. The end brows hardly have any hairs, unfortunately. Better get to the very end though, to try to make them stand up at attention. I guess all the brow hairs are getting coated and that's what really matters. And then I'll go ahead and reapply this. Then I'll go ahead and set the timer again for eight minutes. Okay, I am almost done. Five, four, three, two, one. And so here we go. There are the permed brows. Whoop, there it goes. Turn that off. Okay, the next step is to clean them. And so I'm going to get a clean wipe here. And I'm just going to go ahead and clean off the solution. And it helps to, I guess, leave them in the upward position, if at all possible. So there we go. Man, I look very, very strange. If I had twice as many brows, maybe I could have that Instagram look, but I really just have that scary bad pumpkin look. Okay, now everything is cleaned off, and the last step is the nutrition step. Man, I look weird. Um, and actually, what this is, it's a conditioner because this solution, you know, it can be kind of drying on the eyebrows. And again, it comes in the little number three nutrition box. And I'm going to keep it all together because I can't really believe how great a buy this is. And I really want to use it more times, assuming this works out. Man, it's hard to believe this is going to work out. It looks very strange. So I'm going to get ready for number three nutrition. And I cleaned off my little mascara brush. So I used, whoa, that's kind of liquidy. Conditioner is very liquidy. You know, I think I'll just put that on with my fingers. It's almost like oil. It does feel like oil. Yeah, I don't think the mascara brush would do that very well. But it does just feel like some sort of a oil with a little soap in it. I don't know if that's correct. Ah, it's getting everywhere. Okay, now I have the oil on there and I'm just going to go ahead and clean off my saran wrap again. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it on and leave it on for another eight minutes. Okay, eight minutes. And I'm all conditioned up. Oh, it won't stop. There we go, and I'll just go in with the uh, makeup remover again. I'm going to clean it off the top of my skin just to make sure. It doesn't look too red at all. No, it really doesn't. Get rid of that conditioner, which is really just oil, I think. To soften up those brows. Now I'll dry them off with a little cotton round. They're still a little darker looking than they actually are. Okay, I'll go ahead and leave these alone, let them dry. They really do look a lot more lifted and maybe a little fuller than they did before, not sure. But I will go through the rest of the day and I'll come back on camera and tell you how they're wearing. Okay guys, it is two hours later and quite honestly, I think they look pretty darn strange. They are really much more bushy looking, much more full. I'm going to pause because I'll take an after picture. And hopefully right now I can show you what the before and the after looked like. It really does look like I have much thicker brows. And I do remember from when I had it done in the salon before that she advised that you wait for like three days before you get them wet. And so I'm not going to worry about that so much. I mean, it was $6 but I'm going to try to avoid getting water on them because it's like any perm. It needs a little bit of time to settle. My eyebrows feel just a bit crunchy, not bad at all. And they do look a little strange, but I know from my previous experience that what really happens and is so neat about this is you go through your three days looking a little strange, but once you can start washing them, they really do tend to go in an upward direction. So you really don't need to do a lot to your brows. You just kind of brush them in place very quickly and use a little brow pencil in my case, because I do have grays, which is an issue for blondes because they can't seem to dye brows to get out the gray, which is really crazy. They can do it on your hair. Why in the world can't they do it on your brow? And if you have any experience getting brow lamination in a salon, or if you have done it at home yourself, I hope you'll share the information in the comment section below the video. Do you like it? Do you not like it? I'm not sure about this. I definitely look like I have more brows than I did a few minutes ago, but I'm not sure. It's like gorilla brows. Oh well, let me know in the comment section what you think about this. And if you'd like to learn more about the brow and or lash serum, then I hope you'll stick around on my channel and watch the next video.